Hello, hello, hello. Good evening. Good evening. Hello, teacher. Hello, Good evening. welcome. Good evening. Good evening. Teacher. How are you? Hello, hello. How are you? Hello, hello. Can you hear me? Hello, teacher. Yes. Yeah, yes. I'm sorry. Yes, teacher. Nice. So, how are you? Today is Friday. <laughs> So tomorrow we don't have class. Nice. So let's start, okay? Nice. Yeah, tomorrow vacation. Well, si ya trabajaron en la, en la plataforma, yes, right? You have vacations, you are free, but if uh, you haven't, you haven't, haven't, haven't worked on the platform, so you have to, you have to work on that, okay? So thank you for the cameras. Okay, I see a couple of you still connecting. We are 16, faltan algunos que se nos unan. Um, but let's start, let's start. Okay, welcome. Ahí está entrando ya Senia Patricia, Wendy, nice. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay, let me let me share the screen. Okay, uh, Seneida, you have issues with your internet. Okay. So, cuando ustedes quieren decir en English, tengo problemas de internet, decimos, ¿verdad? Tengo problemas de conexión. So, I have internet issues, ¿ok? Issue, issue es un problema, ¿ok? Usted me puede decir, I have issues with my internet. Tengo problemas con mi internet, me dice usted, ¿ok? So, in Spanish, right? So, I have an issue, I have a problem. That is something that also we can... Uh, we can say, right, that I have a problem. Okay, so I have an issue. That's the way. Nice. You are celebrating, Cindy. Nice. <laughs> Perfect. So today is Friday. No, today is Thursday, right? So. Sorry. Okay, Richard, no problem, Cindy. Excuse me. Uh, Podría escribir la palabra en la conversación. Problema, ¿qué dijo? Porque, issue. Ajá, según yo era como trouble, trouble es trouble, problema. That is a sinónimo. You can see, you can say, I have a problem, I have an issue, I have a, I am on a trouble, ¿ok? Yo estoy en un problema, right? I'm in a trouble. I'm in troubles. This is, ay, estoy en problemas, right? So I'm in troubles, ¿ok? Issue is I as in iglo. S S U E, okay. That's the, the correct way. So let me let me let me uh, share the screen. Well, I'm you are uh, you are able to see my screen, I guess. Yes, right. Me confirman ahí. Se logran ver mi pantalla. Yes, teacher. Ah, okay. Perfect. Nice. So let's, let me make it bigger, 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 bigger. Okay, today is the class number six. So everything that we have right here is what we already cover. Okay, so we already mentioned all of this. So we are in the class number six right now and we are going to continue where we stopped uh yesterday did you remember that yesterday we were like mentioning some uh yes uh, no questions okay we read and we mentioned the parts of the house let's see 
Uh, Abigail Villalta. Abigail Villalta. Uh, which ones, okay, which part of the house do you remember? Abigail Villalta. Bedroom, living room, uh, garage. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and those are attic. Attic, okay. <laughs> okay, okay. Nice. So those are parts of the house, right? We mentioned the living room, we mentioned the dining room, the laundry room that we say that even though we don't have like a room for a laundry, so probably we have, um, we have an a space, right? Where we do the laundry, where we have the laundry machine mm -hmm. and that's what we used, okay? Nice, we have bathroom, we have the bedroom. We mentioned that there are some houses that is with a first floor, second floor, okay? So the jar, okay, where you put your flowers or do you have a tree? Then also we mentioned the apartment parts. Did you remember the lobby? Did you remember that we mentioned that in the lobby is like a small entry, okay? Like a beautiful uh, space in a hotel or in a building where people will be, you know, waiting for it. Uh, for the rest of the people. And uh, we mentioned that in the apartment, we have also a dining room, a kitchen, even though uh, they are like a small spaces, but um, they do have everything, okay, for you to feel comfortable on, the, on an apartment, okay? Did you remember uh, the other way to say apartment? Do you remember the synonym that we mentioned? Ajá. No, nadie se acuerda. Hello, hello, hello. Flat teacher. Ah, thank you, Carla. Flat. Ok. Ay, ya me acordé, dice Justin. <laughs> ok, ya, yeah, flat. Teacher, yeah? I have a question. Go ahead, um, Carla. Eh... Um, What's the meaning of vendor? Is similar to salesperson. Mm, yeah, but it's the company. Okay, it's the company. Okay, when we say, oh, this is from a different vendor, like the brand, okay, like the company. For example, Tigo, it's a vendor. Okay, it's a company in El Salvador, right? It's a phone company. We have, for example, uh, companies like uh, Tigo, Movistar, those are vendors in El Salvador. They are like company that offer business, okay? Or in this case, they are famous in the and country. And person? That would be the person, okay? The person that is in the store, okay? The salesperson is el vendedor, right? Pero... That's the ah, person, okay? The ah, vendor is the company, okay? The, okay, okay. La empresa, let's so see, right? Nice. Thank you. Thank you, teacher. No problem. So welcome, Sandra. No la había visto, Sandra, pero ahí está ya, conectada. Nice, okay? Oh, Thank you. Oh, ya hace rato, ya hace rato. De verdad, es que no he hecho, eh, tengo aquí poquito, no he expandido la cámara aquí para verlos a todos, ok, pero me alegro, me alegro que está ahí siempre, nice, ok, so no sé por qué, okay. no sé, I don't know why, I see your faces and I see that you are extremely happy today, probably because tomorrow we don't have class, <laughs> I don't know, pero los veo bien felices, ¿Qué han hecho? ¿Qué han hecho ahora? Que los veo diferentes. ¿Eh? Ajá. Carla, está bien, es por la veo a Carla ahora. <ríe> nice, ok, nice. No, teacher, I'm so tired. But you don't look like, you don't, I guess that you are, you are a little uh -huh. bit sick, right? Creo que le he visto que está como algo como enfermita de una su gripe, algo así, pero, but I see that you look happy, even no, though. No, es alergia. <laughs> ah, ok. Es, 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 es alergia, me da alergia, el, el clima me pone, me pone así como, con alergia. Ah, ok, so that's an allergy, ok. 
You, are, you have an allergy. Yes, ok. Sí, no, si es que a todos los veo ahí bien felices ahora, saber qué han hecho, ¿verdad? <laughs> se han portado bien o se han portado mal, I don't know. But let's see, let's continue, ok? So we are... Es jueves, teacher. Es jueves, right? Y el cuerpo lo sabe. The body knows. Famosa frase en español, right? El cuerpo lo sabe. The body knows. <laughs> es jueves oh. y Santa Ana tiene, tiene, tiene vacaciones, feriado de lunes. Hey, teacher. that's true. They are on vacations, right? So it would be like a long weekend. Tomorrow, yes. Saturday, Sunday, Monday. Oh my fin God. Fin de semana largo. Shh, vámonos todos para Santa Ana mañana. <laughs> Ok, sí, es cierto, están de fiestas ahí, aunque no hay fiestas en sí, but they do have holiday, vacaciones, right? Holiday, yes, sí. holiday, holiday, sí. that's how we call it in English, ok? Y 26. There are two days, right? Two days, like here in San Salvador, when we have the, the holidays in San Salvador, there are just two days. Normalmente casi. Aquí se siente más largo porque ocupan un día que es el 3, like third, August the third, that is a... 3, 5 y 6, creo, ¿verdad? Ajá, uh -huh, but the 3 is not because of, of, the, of the holiday. Ese es un holiday, pero es el día del comercio, de, the business day, ok? That's the business day. That's what they celebrate on in that the day. company. In the company, yes. Yeah, it is. It is in a San holiday. Salvador. Yeah, in San Salvador, yeah. it is a holiday, but but that day is not part of the fiestas agostinas. No es de las fiestas agostinas. Se une de casualidad, and that's why we have that is a long, long vacation. But in real, it's not. Okay, but it's nice. Vamos aprendiendo ahí palabritas. Okay, holidays is that's the 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 holiday. the word that we call. Um, Asueto, right? That's what we say. Oye, asueto, vacación, right? That's a holiday. I guess that we have a delay in the in the screen, so we mentioned we covered this this conversation yesterday. This is the moral objective. Okay, we mentioned this yes no questions. And I guess that we stop for this area, okay? So we complete this. Aquí nos quedamos, I guess, right? No yes, terminamos, yes. no terminamos, okay? So then we have the class for today, but let's confirm this one because no lo terminamos esto, okay? Nos quedó ahí como pending, okay? Pending, okay? So let's see, let's see, let's do it together, okay? Remember that we are doing the uh, completing this, 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 this conversation, okay? Based on using do, does, and the birds that are missing, okay? Number one is the example, okay? Linda, do you live in an, do you live in apartment? No, I don't. I live in a house, okay? Um, let's see, number, then the one that says, Linda, we did it, okay? Creo que nos quedamos por ahí, that that sounds nice. Do you live alone? No, I don't. I live with my family, okay? So let me, let me mark right here. Let's go a point him right here. So aquí, aquí nos quedamos, okay? So Chris, let's see Janet del Rosario. Janet del Rosario, please help us with this sentence from Chris. No, I don't. No, I live with my family. No, I don't. I live with my family. Okay, perfect. The next one, let's see, Senia, Patricia, Linda. Thank you, teacher. This song, nice. Do you, do you have any brother or sister? Ah, okay. Do you have any brothers or sisters? Do you have any brothers or sisters? Nice. Do you know how to say brothers and sisters together? Instead of ask to the person, do you have brothers and sisters? Because brothers is for men, right? And sisters is for ladies. But there is a word yeah. that we can use to combine those two words. By any chance, ¿saben cuál es esa palabra? 
Chains. Oportunidad. Chains. Mm -hmm. No, no. My, my question is, if you know how to say brother and sister together. Jasmine, creo. Ah, ok. Jasmine, que casi no la escuchamos. Ahora no, ¿por qué? Creo que su micrófono está bien, bien lejos y ahí le toca que hacer un esfuerzo. Right? But uh, Janet, I guess, Janet, you mentioned the, the work. Siblings, okay, that's the word. Siblings, siblings, okay. Hello, hello, I don't know what happened. Okay. So I'm here one more time. Okay, so let's continue. Let's see uh, Sandra. Sandra Evelyn, help us with the next one. The one that says Chris. Yes, okay. Yes, I do. I have four sisters. Okay, yes, I do. I have four sisters. Perfect. Sister. The next one is for, let's see who, uh, let's see, Roxana, oh, Roxana God. Patricia, Roxana Patricia. The next one, right here, Linda. That's a big family. Doesn't you have a big house? Mm -hmm. Okay, let's see. That's a big family. Como él le dice que tiene four sisters, right? Bastantes, right? So that's a big family. Auxiliary sería para el auxiliar, Roxana, para el, su el sujeto you. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar? Uh, do. Nice. So do you have a big house? Have, okay? you have. Okay. Do you have okay. a big house? Perfect. Jancy, Herminia, the next one. Yes, we does it have ten rooms. Mm -hmm. Let's see, Jancy. For we, ¿cuál es el auxiliar de we? Do. Ah, nice. So, yes, we do. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yes, we, we do. do eat. ¿Qué dijimos del verbo? I, yo dije, I have, she has. ¿Se acuerdan que lo vimos ahí? Yo tengo, ella tiene. So, el it, ¿cuál sería? Es tercera persona. ¿Cómo sería aquí? As. Ah, as. ah nice. It has ten rooms. Tienen que yes. Yes. <ríe> tiene diez uh, rooms la habitación. Ok, es un it. Perfect, thank you. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Uh, Jennifer Lemos, Jennifer Lemos, the next one. Okay, um, same rooms. Uh, do it has many bedroom? Okay, so let's see, 10 rooms. ¿Cuál es el auxiliar de it? Does. Ah, ok. Does. Does it have. Aquí no cambia porque cuando tengo un auxiliar das. dijimos Entonces, que quería, los sí. verbos no cambian. Uh -huh. Does it have many bedrooms? Aquí el verbo va normal porque ya dijimos que cuando hay un auxiliar... No cambio el verbo, ok? No cambio el verbo. Nice. The next one, okay. the next okay. one is for, thank you, Jennifer. The next one is for Sara, Sara Guzmán. Oh. The next one, please. Yes, teacher. 
Yes, it does. It's helpful. Okay, thank you, Sara. Nice. It says, yes, it does. Okay, yes, it does. Yes, it it has. has. It has. For. For. Okay, aquí sería has. Okay, porque estamos con el auxiliar. I'm sorry, con el, con el sujeto it. Okay, dijimos que para it, he y she cambia. Ok, aquí no hay auxiliar, mire aquí hay un punto que divide Ajá. esta oración de la otra. Si esto fue, no hubiera un punto y fuera una sola oración es algo diferente. Pero aquí hay una oración y aquí hay otra oración. So it has four. Let's continue. No problem. Uh, let's continue. Let's see. Carla, Cal Carla, please. Uh, Linda. Do you have your own, own bedroom? Perfect, thank you. Do you have your own bedroom? Yeah, ¿Qué es esto de own? Tu propio cuarto. Nice, ok. Este es un pronoun que más adelante lo vamos a ver, ok. Do, do, you, do you have your own bedroom? Tienes tu propia habitación, propio cuarto, decimos nosotros, right? So, the last one, the last one is for... Uh, let's see, vamos a preguntarle a Remberto, Remberto Alejandro, the last one, Chris. Chris. Continue. Yes, I do. Mm -hmm. I am I really look, lucky. Thank you, Remberto. Nice. Yes, I do. Okay. Yes, I do. I am really lucky lucky okay lucky what is lucky suerte suertudo suertudo sería en este caso verdad porque le están preguntando si él tiene su propio habitación su propio cuarto y viene él y dice yes i do sí yo tengo so i'm really lucky okay that means que es Suertudo, okay, de tener ahí su propia habitación. So, let's continue. So, this is the uh, class number six. Okay, now we have right here furniture. Do you know what is furniture? Furniture, what Como is muebles. Ah, muebles. En español sillón, nosotros decimos sillón. muebles. Ok, usted tiene la mesa, la silla, la cocina, el ventilador, el televisor, el tantas cosas, right? So, that is furniture. Ok, furniture. Escuche, furniture. Furniture. Ok, furniture. Muebles, ok. Furniture. Furniture. Ok. Furniture. So, let's see qué furniture hemos puesto en esta imagen. Ok. Look, we have armchairs. 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 Este es como el sillón chiquito, decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? El individual, yes. el sillón pequeño, así dice usted, del de una persona. Este se llama armchair. Ok, en este caso está en plural porque hay dos en la imagen, right? Pero si es solo uno, usted va a decir armchair. Si son dos, armchairs. Ok. Then we have right here the book case. Book case. La librera, decimos nosotros, right? El estante de poner los libros. Ok, es un mueblecito. Book case. Book case. We have a table right here. Do we have different tables? Usted puede tener una small table, una big table, una large table. So, diferentes tipos de mesas, right? But in this case, it's a table, okay? Look, we have a coffee table, okay? Una mesa más pequeñita como la que tiene tal vez usted en medio de la sala, por ahí en una esquinita donde tiene un florerito, algo ahí, ¿verdad? So, that is an, a coffee table, ¿ok? That's a coffee table. No porque sea para café, sino que por el tamaño, right? Pequeñita, es una coffee table. Then we have right here dresser. Dresser. What is a dresser? 
Gavetero. Gavetero, así decimos nosotros, right? Gavetero, es un mueblecito donde usted guarda ropa o qué sé yo, right? Pero no es un closet. El closet ya es más grande, ¿ok? Este a veces le dicen cabinet, también cabinet, va a depender del libro que usted vea. Algunos le van a decir ahí como un cabinet, un dresser, ¿ok? Tocador decimos a veces, cuando tiene un espejo, yeah, un tocador, right? So that's a dresser, ¿ok? Then we have right here chairs, ¿ok? It's in plural because we have two, but it's just one is chair, ¿ok? Shares, ok, shares, yes. shares, we have right here an stove, stove, ok, la cocina, right, that's an stove, now, uh, el horno, el horno, este es un uh, Owen, ok, Owen, el horno de la cocina se llama Owen, ok, Owen, pero toda la cocina en sí se llama stove, Okay, stove. Then we have curtains. 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 En este hay dos, right? Una que está es una sola, pero están divididas, right? So por eso lo pone ahí en plural. Curtains. Curtains. Then we have a microwave oven. Okay, microwave. Microwave. Ya no diga, nosotros decimos microondas. Ok, es porque viene de esta palabra en inglés, microwave. Pero nosotros decimos, voy a calentar la comida en el microondas. Ya no diga así, diga microwave, microwave, microwave. So then we have a mirror. Ok, we have a mirror right here, donde usted se ve los colochos todos los días, right? The mirror, the mirror, the mirror, the mirror. Ok, then we have right here a refrigerator. Refrigerator, ya lo voy a poner a repetir, a ver cómo lo pronuncian, refrigerator, ok, no se le trabe ahí la lengua, refrigerator, 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 en algunos libros usted va a ver que dice uh, fridge, fridge, ok, y ese viene de freezer, así decimos, voy a abrir el freezer, dice usted, a sacar hielo, so that's why we say Refrigerator or fridge, ok, en algunos así va a aparecer como fridge, nevera, verdad, si usted traduce la palabra fridge, se es nevera, nosotros no decimos nevera, usted dice voy a ir a la refri, ok, no, ni, no decimos ni refrigeradora, right, so we say refri, ok, that's a refrigerator, ok, so uh, what else we have right here, pictures, ok, esos son los Um, los cuadros, dice uno, ¿verdad? Mira el cuadro que tengo ahí, es una picture, right? So in this case, it's two, it's pictures. Uh, what else? A clock, okay? We have a clock right there. Normally tenemos todos en la casa un reloj ahí en la pared, right? A clock, okay? That is a clock. We have lamps, okay? Lamps. In this case, son tres, right? Pero si solo es una, es una lamp. Ok, una lamp. What else we have right here? A bed. We have a bed. Ok, bed. We have a bed. Ok, so donde usted duerme, right? That's the bed. Uh, what else? We have a desk. Ok, no es una mesa, sino que decimos escritorio, right? In Spanish. This. Ok, this is a desk. We have a sofa. Sofa. Ok. En español nosotros a veces decimos sillón, pero algunas personas dicen sofá. Ok, so, me voy a acostar en el sofá, dice usted. So, sofá. And we have a rook. Rook. Ok, ¿qué es una rook? Alfombra. Uh -huh, exactly, alfombra decimos nosotros, ¿verdad? Una root. And the last one is a television, ¿ok? Esa, ese televisor es del old fashion, right? Ya está viejito. Television. Now, uh, we have TVs, right? We say TV. Normalmente ahora ya no decimos este, television. Nosotros solo decimos TV or even we say a smart TV. 
como hoy tenemos smart, smart TVs, right? So we say, voy a comprar un, un, un smart TV, ok? Un smart, un plasma, pero ese es el estilo. No es el nombre, sino que este sería un smart TV or un, a television, ok? So, are we clear with the furniture? Todo esto se llama furniture. There are more themes, ok? Aquí hay unos poquitos nada más en la imagen. Hay muchas cosas que tenemos en la casa, right? So, everything that is muebles, electrodomésticos, por ejemplo, la lavadora, laundry machine, ok? La laundry machine, ventilador. ok? El ventilador, that is a fan, ok? El ventilador, that is a fan, ok? ¿Qué más tenemos nosotros? Eh, la plancha, the iron, ok, la licuadora, blender, blender, ok, so those are themes that are considered as a furniture, ok, so let's see if we, if we can pronounce a couple of words, let's see, um, Walter Wilfredo, what is this, ok, lo que yo estoy señalando, Walter Wilf Wilfredo, what is this? Microwave. Okay, perfect. Microwave. Oh, when? Okay. So, si yo le digo, what is this? Como lo estoy aquí tocando, ¿se acuerdan que vimos esto? This, this, that, and, and, and this, right? So, in this case, this is a microwave, okay? This is a microwave. Let's see, Xiomara Jamilet. Xiomara Jamilet. What is this? Xiomara, what is this? Uh, refrigerator. Okay, refrigerator. Refrigerator. Okay, refrigerator. Xiomara, okay. refrigerator. Nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see who. Um, let's see, let's see. Jennifer Lemus. Jennifer Lemus. Uh, what is this? Jennifer Lemos, what is this? This is bed. This is a bed, okay? This is a bed. Nice. Uh, Wendy Beatriz. Wendy Beatriz. Um, yes, go. What is this? What is this? This is a bookcase. Perfect. It's a bookcase. 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 Uh, let's see. Tatiana Lopez. Tatiana Lopez. What is this? This is. Okay. This is a dresser, okay? Dresser, 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 okay? Nice. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Walter, Walter Wilfredo, okay? Uh, what is this, Walter? Can you hear me, Walter? Walter, Walter, are you alive? Está con vida? Okay, so I don't know what happened with Walter. So, Sonia, Areli. Lo, lo siento, teacher. Lo, lo siento, me había levantado. Ah, okay, no problem, Walter, no problem. What is this, Entró Walter? Mi, mi hermano, lo siento, ¿qué pasa? No problem, no problem. Curtains. What is this? They are court teams, okay? They are court teams, okay? No problem, Walter. Tranqui, tranqui, ahí, relax, okay? Let's see, Sonia Areli, Sonia Areli. Uh, what is Hi. this? What is this, Sonia? They lamp. They are, they are lamps, okay? They, they are lamps. Lamps, okay. And the last one, the last one, the last one. 
uh, that will be for, um, let's see, Cindy Marilu, Cindy Marilu. What is these? There are armchairs. Okay, they are armchairs, okay? So, los que les he preguntado, they are like the ones that probably sometimes it's kind of complicated to pronounce. Microwave, refrigerator, dresser, curtains, a bed, okay? Then the rest, so probably usted ya los conocía los otros, okay? Probably yes or probably no. If you have new words, please write it down, okay? Let's see, we have a couple of questions right here. What furniture do you have? Okay, usted me va a decir, I have, y me puede decir ahí unas tres cositas de la furniture que usted tiene. Si no tiene, invente. Usted diga que tiene una cama, no creo que no tenga una cama, que dormir en una piedra ahí usted. Tiene que tener, aunque sea ahí una tijera, tiene que tener escondida. Ok, so, uh, let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Vamos a ver a quién le preguntamos. Uh, Sonia, no le hemos preguntado. Sonia Antonieta. Let's see, Sonia, what furniture do you have? Son Sofía, I'm sorry, Sofía Antonieta, ya le estoy cambiando el nombre, my goodness. <laughs> okay, teacher, uh, I have blender, stove, I have bed, okay. tele television, uh, laptop. Aha, okay, laptop, nice, perfect, okay? Uh, okay. Perfect, just don't forget, I have a blender, I have a laptop, I have a TV, a television, I have a bed, if you have just one, pero si tiene dos, I have two beds, I have three beds, las camas, right? So, that is, okay. that is, that is furniture. Ahora, let's see, that is, um, Antonieta, right? So, eso es lo que ella tiene. Now, I'm going to ask you, ¿qué tiene ella? Okay, remember that I say, I have. Yo digo, yo tengo, pero yo quiero decir, ella tiene, she has. Okay, so, entonces yo le voy a preguntar, ¿qué tiene eh, Antonieta, right? So, ahí vamos a ver el uso de la tercera persona. Vamos a ver, vamos a ver a quién le vamos a preguntar, alguien que no le hemos preguntado, no sé si ya, Seneida, I don't know if you have better internet connection, que me dijo que estaba ahí con issues. Now yes, right? That's okay. It's the same? Uh, me escucha. Yeah, now yes, Seneida, okay? So, what does, what does, uh, in this case, Sofia have, okay? What does Sofia have, okay? Did you listen? She has a laptop. Mm -hmm. She has a laptop. What else? Uh, she has a... Uh, uh-huh. Ya no se acuerda qué dijo Sofía. <ríe> Bien, Invent. vamos a... Invente ahí lo que hacía ahí. Dígale que ella tiene un furniture ahí, un fan. <ríe> ok. Bien, no problem, Seneida. Thank you. Let's see. Vamos a ver quién se acuerda. Vamos a ver. Uh, Sandra, what does... Um, Sofia have what does Sofia she, have? She has laptop, a stove, mm. table, bed. Okay, mm. she has a laptop, she laptop. has a table, oh, she has laptop. a stove, and she has a blender. A blender, dijo ella, okay? Blender. Perfect, Sandra, okay. nice. Okay. Let's see the next question. 
Let's see, this is for Samuel. Samuel no le hemos preguntado hoy. Samuel, okay? So, Samuel, David, what furniture do you have in the living room? Okay, what furniture do you have in the living room? In the living room, we have uh, television, television, TV, uh, iPad, a desk, I curtains. Ok, thank you, Samuel. Just remember, this is you, ok? Cuando le dicen, do you, ok? What furniture do you have in the living room? So, I have, yo tengo, right? I have a TV, I have curtains, I have a table, I have a sofa, ok? So, in the living room, I have blah, 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 blah. So, let's see, the next question is for... Uh, let's see, let's see, a quien no le hemos preguntado este día. Xiomara Yamilet, creo que ya le pregunté, pero one more time. Okay, Xiomara, what furniture do you have in the bedroom? I have a dresser, I have a chair, I have a bed. Okay, perfect. So remember that we are learning the parts of the house, right? So you know what is a living room, a kitchen, a bedroom, dining room, the jar, and you need to know the furniture that you have in every single, uh, every single room. So because of the time, we need to continue, okay? Vamos a seguir preguntando más. Uh, let's see, Roxana Patricia, could you please help me with the reading? Help me with the reading of this lesson objective, please. Um, no sé lo que me está preguntando el de reading. Okay, no problem, San, uh, Roxana. Patricia, ayúdeme a leer el objetivo, please. Read okay. the, the lesson objective, please. Read. Okay. Be the end of the class, your will. Learn how to form. Statement with there is and there are. Also how to use some, no, and any. When referring to different objects. Okay, thank you. Perfect, Roxana. Nice. It says right here, this is the lesson objective. By the end of this class, you will learn how to form a statements with there is and there are, okay? There is and there are. Also, also, ¿qué es eso de also? También. También, además, okay? También, además, como en español uno dice, mira, ahorita yo voy a hacer, y también tengo tal cosa, además de ir a comprar, tengo que ir. So that is also, okay? Also, how to use some, no, en any, ok, esas tres palabras vamos a ver cómo usarlas. When, referring to a different objects, ok, cuando yo estoy hablando de diferentes objetos. Entonces eso es lo que vamos a ver ahorita. Vamos a ver, aquí les tengo yo una imagen, and I'm sorry que los tengo viendo un poquito pequeñito hoy, pero por algún motivo cuando hago el screen lo comparto grande, se, se me frisa, ok, so por eso lo estamos viendo así, algo pequeñito, ok, but listen, this is there is and there are, there is and there are, y aquí se lo he puesto en un dibujito bien fácil para que a usted le quede más claro, ok, look, we have the verb be right here, is and are, so there is or there are, ok, there is, there are, So, is is only one thing, ok? Es solamente una cosa. Y are es para dos o más cosas, ok? Vean ahí en el ejemplo, tenemos right here. There is, ok? For describing rooms or pictures, ok? Esto usted lo, va des, lo, lo dice en español, usted dice, hay, este, hay una mesa en la cocina. Usted dice, hay una cama en el cuarto, así decimos en español. Ah, tengo dos sillas en el comedor. Tengo cuatro mesas en la sala. So, 
Ahí usted está diciendo there is or there are, ¿ok? There is will be just for one thing. Cuando usted está refiriéndose de a una cosa, va a decir there is. But if you have two or more, ¿ok? Pueden ser 100, 40, 80, 1000. There are, ¿ok? There are 200. Hay 200. There are 200, ¿ok? There are two, ¿ok? There are three, there are... 20, ok, no importa, de 2 en adelante, so are, ok, look at the examples, there is a boy, there is a book, there is an apple, there is a car, there is a woman, then when there are two things or more, or more right, uh, there are two oranges, there are three people. There are five glasses. There are six women. There are four girls. Okay. So this is very simple. Okay. Remember there is is just for one object. There are is for two or more. Vamos a ver aquí unos ejercicios. Okay. So my goodness, what time is it? Okay. We have time. So I'm going to create right now breakup rooms, okay? Ojalá no me vaya a quedar ahí perdida en, 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 el, en haciendo los grupos, okay? So I'm going to create a couple of um, groups and you have to complete this, okay? Si gustan ahí, tómenle una, una captura para que lo tengan, porque cuando se van a los grupos, a veces ya no se ve la pantalla, okay? O ahí alguien lo puede compartir, right? So complete the sentence with is or are. Las primeras... Sentences, usted va a completar en su equipo, is or are. And in the second one, fill in the gaps, okay? Fill in the gaps. There is, there are, are uh, there are, are there, or is there, okay? Va a completar esas eh, ocho oraciones con el there is, there are, are this, or is there, okay? Si es pregunta. ¿Estamos bien con la indicación? Yes. Yes, teacher. Ok, nice. Vamos a hacer aquí un par de grupitos. Vamos a ver unos siete grupos o quizás unos seis. Van a quedar unos de tres y otros de cuatro. Ok. So, you have four minutes. Ok. Four minutes nada más para completar esto. Ok. So, I will create the groups right now. Ok. Cuando llegue al grupo, rapidito, compañeros, ¿qué hacemos? La uno, la dos, la tres. No se queden ahí callados. Hay que aprovechar al máximo los cuatro minutitos que tenemos. Ok, so here we go.
Hello, hello, hello. Hello, teacher. Hello. Nice. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Hello, teacher. Nice. Hello, teacher. We are back. Yeah. Justo tiempo. Yes. Okay, so we finished. Nice. Yes. Yes. Perfect. So thank you, thank you, thank you. So look, we need to check the answers, but I have three minutes. Me quedan nada más para dar, dejar una pequeñita tarea. Okay, una pequeñita tarea. Okay, so remember my homework is working the platform. El día lunes, we are going to start with this. Okay, vamos a revisar esto el día lunes. The answers, okay? But um, we have we have um, a small homework, okay? So it's not mandatory, but um, I would like to see if we can write, okay? Let me see if I can do bigger this part, okay? So. Oh, description. Me va a escribir un pedacito ahí, me lo va a mandar al grupo del WhatsApp, ok? So, me lo puede mandar cualquier día, mañana, me lo puede mandar el sábado, oh. me lo puede mandar el domingo, me lo puede mandar el lunes antes de la clase, ok? So, you are going to write a My description about your dream home, ok? So, me escribe un parrafito, no me va a escribir una gran carta, ¿verdad? Un parrafito ahí, un parrafito de unas que... Eh, unas 5 o 10 líneas lo más, ok? So, me va a escribir about your uh, description of your dream home, ok? So, aquí hay un ejemplo, look, my dream home, it's a cabin in the forest. There is a large room. Ahí usted me va a describir cómo quiere la casa de sus sueños. Emociones y ahí puede pedir lo que sea, porque es la casa de sus sueños, ok? So, you can use this Sentences. Se puede guiar de estas preguntas para ir escribiendo. Look, what is your dream home like? ¿Cómo es la casa de sus sueños? Ah, me puede poner usted ahí. My dream home is a, a penthouse, ok? Or is a house uh, close to the beach, ok? Ahí in front, ok? Con una cerca, una casa de playa, ahí cerca de la playa. No sé, la casa que a usted le gustaría tener es un sueño, right? So, where is it? ¿Dónde? ¿Dónde está la casa? Ah, uh, in the beach or in a big city. ¿Usted quisiera tener una casa ya en, en Nueva York? No sé, ¿verdad? ¿Dónde usted le gustaría? Where? Uh, what rooms does it have? ¿Ok? ¿Cuántas habitaciones tiene? Yo invente usted, my dream house has uh, have uh, yeah has 10 rooms okay one large living room okay a big nice luxury bedroom okay ahí empieza de ahí la otra pregunta what things are in the room qué furniture tiene usted en la casa usted puede poner in the living room i have a big tv okay i have Nice, a big sofa. Ok, ahí se emociona usted todo lo que usted quisiera tener en esa casa de sus sueños. Does it have a view? Does it have a view? ¿Qué dijimos? Si tiene vista, right? Usted me puede poner ahí, sí, tiene una vista al lago, tiene una vista a la playa, tiene una vista a, no sé, a un bosque, no sé, lo como usted quiera su casa. Ok, me escribe unas... 5 o 10 líneas lo más y me va a mandar el texto en un solo texto ahí al grupo de WhatsApp y ahí me pone, ¿verdad? Fulanito, this is my dream house, ¿ok? Or this is my dream home. Y ahí pone usted su descripción, ¿ok? Nice. Are we clear with the instruction for this homework? No es que me lo tiene que mandar ya, ¿verdad? You can rest, ¿ok? Tiene hasta el lunes antes de la clase para mandarme. Ok, ok. ¿Estamos bien ahí? Ok, teacher. Yes, teacher. Yes, yes okay. teacher. Yes. Perfect, perfect, perfect. So don't forget it, ok. Aparte de eso, esta es tarea la va a hacer en 3, 5 minutos. Su tarea oficial es trabajar en la plataforma. La otra semana 
van a mandar otra vez el dato y todos los que no estén por lo menos a la unidad 3, ahí va a salir su nombre. Si usted no quiere estar en esa lista fea, tiene que trabajar, ¿ok? Tiene que trabajar para que no lo pongan ahí que usted no ha trabajado, ¿ok? So, thank you so much, ¿ok? Mañana no vaya a venir, mañana no voy a estar aquí, ¿ok? Mañana es Friday, ¿ok? Vacation. Pero puede aprovechar esta hora en lugar de conectarse a la, a la reunión, a la video conference, usted puede trabajar en la plataforma. Okay, aproveche esa horita para trabajar en la plataforma o hacer la tareita y me la manda. Okay? So, thank you. I hope to see you. I hope to see you on Monday. Okay? On Monday, seguimos. Okay? Enjoy your weekend. Okay? Enjoy the weekend and take care as well. Okay? Si toma, no okay. maneja. Okay. Si maneja, teacher. no toma. Okay, teacher. Okay. Bye, bye. <laughs> Take care. Bye, bye. Bye, bye. Take bye. Care. bye. Good night. Good night. Nice weekend. Bye. Bye.